What's up, guys? This is DDP, joined again by Any. What's up? We are back with another highlight analysis, reaction, whatever you want to call it. Looking again at Summer League, but this time we are looking at the Mavs second round pick, 45th overall, Isaiah Roby. We're going to be taking a look at his performance in Summer League, give you our thoughts and everything, uh, and let you know what we think of the guy in the first looks. Yep. Uh, so I got a good look at him during the, uh, the Summer League. Uh, showed some promise. Uh, I mean, he's a Type of, uh, a wing filled the stat sheet pretty well yeah so what was he six eight uh mm -hmm. i don't know his wingspan sorry but uh he you know can work out the post here's the most interesting thing about roby's one he's one of those growth spurts type guy so he you know went to the university of nebraska um it's like a point guard yeah right? came in as a point guard yeah. hit a growth spurt uh and was even towards the end of his college career was even playing center, center. for them yep so some of these highlights you're going to see some remnants of his post um past uh you know days as a point guard and you're able to see some, of the some ball handling yeah, and passing yeah so him being the size he is he does have a handle on the ball okay uh he used he does you do see some vision from him um and you can tell that he's still working on some of the things that taller people who have been you know taller <laughs> the whole life uh, uh are doing like posting up he's yeah. still a little raw at the post um but he does you can you can see just with a little bit more time in developing those skills you can definitely see them uh developing um one thing that does concern me though with him mm -hmm. it has to be the hands yeah he, uh, he he definitely had the eric dampier syndrome hands of stone yeah and summer league that we saw a little bit of i think that's mostly nerves though because you didn't see a lot of that and what you, when i looked back into his nebraska days mm -hmm. i didn't see a lot of that so. well i i attributed i attributed when i watched the first game he was doing a lot of that mm -hmm. and i attributed a lot of that to nerves, nerves you know um but and the second game he played a lot better i think he put 14 points filled up the stat it was like 14 nine and like six yeah or something. definitely like something very productive yeah filled up the stat sheets i was like okay so it was just nerves but mm -hmm. you start seeing in the third and i think maybe in the fourth game that you know he'll cut and then someone will give him the ball and he'll just completely you know fumble it which yeah. you know in the summer league you can get away with that but when you're playing in the big league you cannot do that so. right but let's go ahead and jump in these highlights and see yeah. what we got with our boy. Uh, content, uh, again, the video put together, uh, pieced together by the Dallas Mavericks YouTube channel. So shout out to them for compiling compiling everything. Appreciate it. We're going to react and give you our analysis as we go through this. All righty. All right. Pick and roll handoff. Spot yeah. up. Good jab step. Yeah. Drives hard. Yep. yep. Good finish. And Good I, finish. I actually like the second spring there from him mm -hmm. as we get spammed with an ad. Yeah, so follow. he definitely follows his shot. That's yep. that's what you need to do. That's I uh, like the quick jump. Mm -hmm. He didn't need it in that case, but I, I like the look for it. And you're, you're gonna see a lot of block. you're gonna see a lot of athleticism from him. Yeah, you can see some blocks. Crossover, fake spin, post up fade. Yeah. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. That was very smooth, very nice touch. It's it's not a move you'll at his level be able to go do in the NBA mm -hmm. a lot right now, but uh, it's good to know he has that ability. Yeah. See, good vision. You see, you see the vision from him. One thing also that I really want to see from him, I want to see him be a lot more decisive yeah. in, the, in this game. Good block. Good job at the buzzer, too. Yeah. Now, his help side block skills look to be very good. Very a good. Very, yep. Now, the pass Another was, bobble. The pa yeah. yeah. The pass was too far out in front of him. Good follow. At least he mm -hmm. stuck with it. The pass was out in front of him. It wasn't where he was at the arc, yeah. but... Uh, that that's still yeah, a dude. fumble on his part, and then he that's, fumbled again. Woo! Josh Reese getting blocked, but that was a good uh, pick Now pocket. it's turning into his anti highlight. <laughs> There's oh. another fumble. Yeah, yeah. We need to turn this into a drinking game. But <laughs> I, I, it's too early in the morning for me to get uh, crunk. <laughs> <laughs> this little was spot a little spot up there. Uh, yeah, that was a, pretty much a dagger. Yep. That he hit. Put him up four, yeah, with 20. And that was seconds. a good Brooklyn Summer League team. Like, they had some, like, guys who started on their team hmm. on their big league team playing for their like uh i the see the karate kid yeah. bananas <laughs> yeah. on that was one of the weirder style things so you see the post year. up yep good vision was looking for it the whole way mm -hmm. i like it that was with our boy now, josh like too. zip he gets on that with one hand never had to like pick it up gather and then hook it yeah. just was ready to just flip it good pick yeah way to read the passing lane crash down Needs the break too. I like that for yeah. his size. That's a nice trait. Good pass, good zip. We love that. Yep. Okay. Leads out on the break, leaks out, 
Hey, look, there's that <laughs> shot. <laughs> exactly like I said. That's our thumbnail down here for Roby. We were trying to figure out exactly what was happening seeing the defender in that shot. No, Ooh. sir. Get Ooh. no. What was that? No soup for you. Yeah. What? No, oh, boy. Pins that on the back. What are you doing? All right, sets him up. Ooh. Step back. I want Slow to step back. I want to see a Patient lot more of that yeah. uh, in the summer league. But, you know, now it is summer league. His yeah. three-point percentage needs to develop a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, but still, the tools are there. There's not a hitch or anything in his shot. It looks like the mechanics are pretty decent. Mm -hmm. And it's something that we probably need to point out, too. Um, this is just Summer League. I think yeah. I said it a couple of times. Uh, Jalen Brunson didn't have a good Summer League. Yeah. Ooh, see, he's freaking just on, on and, top and of there it. And there he is. Upside defense. Yeah. Go, go up a little stronger. Nice move. Gets the and one dunk. I like it. Go, good patience as yeah, well. Yeah, go up a little stronger. Um, there's there's a game where he, he went up, gathered just like that, and he actually missed the dunk, which is... Huh. A complete no no, especially for 6 8. Yeah. Good. There you go. Good take. Good, good strong finish right there. Love it. Yeah, they freaking mopped Houston in this game. It looks like RIP. <laughs> oh, God. Bad pass, Costas. RIP, Costas. Yeah, RIP, Costas. Good rip. Get off me, little boy. Good rip. Breaks up the fast break by himself. Good seal. Good finish. Nice, too. yeah, nice finish. That's a tough angle. Good trap. Nope. Good steal. Good pass. Yeah, great play. I mean, we're we're seeing just like I said, we're seeing a lot of, I guess. You see that pass Reeves. point guard, you know, back in his background. Roby. Yep. Good stuff. There, there's this is them against Croatia again. There's a lot to like in his game in terms of his uh, tools. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see how he can kind of develop. I, I don't look at him and say that he's a guy that comes in and makes any noticeable impact year one. Mm -hmm. But I definitely think he's the kind of project piece with enough tools you can probably put something together in yeah. year two, year three. Yeah. And it's not just uh, it's not just the intangibles, yeah. too. It's not just, oh, he's 6A, he has a long wingspan, long athletic type guy. He, yeah. he actually has something that we can develop. Yep. I don't, I don't want to, you know, start ripping on Costas now that he's gone or anything like that. But Costas was definitely a Project Plus type dude who the only reason why uh, someone like him is even in the league outside of his Something name. happened ending in a Roby dunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. There it is. Yeah, there you go. But something. Uh, oh, okay. Good, good follow. Yeah, good what follow I was dunk. saying about like, it's not just, you know. Outside of Costas' name, just him being long or whatever. Yeah. You actually see something that we can yeah, we can develop with Roby, which, you know, definitely excites the... Let me see here. Give this just a moment. Oh, we only got like 20 seconds left in this anyway. But, yeah, um, there, there's definitely some elements to him to be excited about. Uh, when he got drafted 45th on the night of the draft, mm -hmm. admittedly, I did not know a whole lot about him. So I was kind of like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I kind of felt like them trading back uh, a few more spots. I think they fell from, what was it, like 32 to 45 or something? No, 30, 37, 37 to 45. To, 45 yeah. to pick up two second round picks. I would picks. be upset if yeah. <laughs> we had the 32nd pick and yeah. 45. Because I was looking at that and I was thinking like, oh, okay, this sounds like they're just trying to gather assets uh -huh. so that they can try and do a trade or something like that because uh -huh. we know that that's where they do a lot of their best work which was that's exactly what they did yeah and yeah they, they did and they they were able to make that uh turn that into delon Wright. Yep. it looks like so mm -hmm. yeah uh that that's pretty savvy if you think about it you got <laughs> presumably your starting point guard and uh and a nice project piece mm -hmm. uh just for going from 37 to 45 yep. like, that's pretty solid mm -hmm. um and then when you add in the bonus we talked about earlier being able to pick up an unsigned guy like Reeves, Josh Reeves, yep. Yeah, then that 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 makes for a good little farm system for you. I know that's like a baseball term, but yeah. it, it's true in any sport with a developmental league. Uh, so yeah, I'm um, I'm interested. I, I like what we see. I don't know that he's ready to make a noteworthy impact year one, but I could definitely see him turning into something if they can work with him, especially get that three point mm -hmm. percentage a little better. Now now I guess the talk on Maps Twitter is you have the three guys who two of them are going to get a two-way contract and one of them's going to get the last roster spot. Uh, who, I can think of four favorites that everyone always talks about. They like to talk about Macon, Cleveland, Reeves, and... Yeah, Kobe. so 
You have there has to be three of them. I think Cleveland is it's out. Like F one, marry one, kill one. Pretty kind much of territory. Or like, I guess F two or whatever. I don't know. Uh, F two, marry one. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> so uh, you lecture. In, 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 in your opinion, who gets the two uh, two way contract and who gets the final roster spot? The fifteenth one. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think. We got a crowded backcourt. That's got to factor in somehow with mm-hmm. that. So I think you'll have Roby get one of the spots, um, just being able to play a little bit of that kind of front court yeah, as well. Three, four type guy. Yep. Mm-hmm. I think that'll help him in that regard. Uh, I love Macon, but I do worry that there's just not going to be a role for him yeah. with that backcourt right now. Especially with JJ coming back. Yep. Um, so I don't think he'll get in. Cleveland, what? What? Tell me a little bit more. Uh, I, I mean, I don't. I don't. I mean, he's he's a. Uh, I don't want to say I, I he's, he's a D and he's. I want to say he's a D and three type person, hustle type guy. Definitely mm-hmm. die just dirty work. The dirty work uh, can you know against summer league players. He looks very good. Yeah, I heard uh, a lot of talk about him. Kind obviously. of a journeyman too. He he also had some uh, previous run-ins with the Mavericks as well. Yeah, has himself a uh, very solid fan base actually here in, in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Okay. Uh, but I honestly think he's out. I think he's, that, that's kind of where I was leaning on that. I think, that I think he would be the one out, and you'd have maybe Reeves, mm-hmm. Roby, and uh, who was we talking about? Yeah, Macon being the final three spots. Yeah, your final three spots with Macon probably being your um, one of your two way guys. Macon being the one and two. Oh, okay. Because you were talking about one roster spot. I think. Yeah. That, so that would be the fifteenth, and you have the two two ways. Yeah. Um, so I think maybe now Reeves is on an exhibit ten. So he couldn't get he couldn't get picked up from another team like oh no one could, no one could take him off of our as uh, of right le- now. legends team right now yeah as of right okay. now that, that's uh, good just to like know. Cameron Payne he signed a he signed a deal with us that wasn't Exhibit Ten it was more like a just a hey summer league type deal yeah got picked up by the Raptors so he didn't yeah. even play the last couple of games with yeah us. and that's pretty much why we to win um even i didn't want him on the team anyway but if you're in year five or six of your nba career and you're in a summer league on an invite purpose yeah. you're probably not a star yeah you're probably yeah um but, but anyway uh i, so I could have told you that anyway having seen his first stop <laughs> i could have told you where i thought his future was <laughs> he was a first round pick too that's yeah, why um but uh, man i really i really like reeves i really yeah. like um if it was up to me, if I was the one making the decision, mm-hmm. I would I would have to say, I know it doesn't make sense because we have a lot of back, we have a lot of guys in the backcourt. Yep. But the way he plays, he plays a lot bigger than what he really is. Say six four, six seven weeks span. So are you saying you think he's the last roster spot for us? I think he will be. I think he will be uh, on a two way. Okay. But I, yeah. if it was up to me, if I was the decision maker, I would want him on the roster spot, and I have Roby. Um, and making on the two ways. Yeah. But, I mean, yeah. they can all play for the maps. I, 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 I imagine Roby would, because of the lack of depth in our front court, um, yeah. I mean, I know we're it's mainly at the five mm-hmm. where we don't have exactly what we want, uh, especially if KP wants to play the four. Four, exactly. But with that being the case, I would still probably look at it and say Roby gets the last roster spot with Reeves and Macon being your two ways. Yeah. But we can dive into that, and obviously as the season gets closer, uh, we can re-examine that. And mm-hmm. at some point, we're going to have to figure out a new set of bets. <laughs> a new payoff. You're supposed to be wearing your shirt, by the way. Uh, sorry, sir, that's live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I said let's record shit this week? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, uh, thanks again. Shout out to the Mavs YouTube uh, squad for putting together this uh, highlight reel for Isaiah Roby and Josh Reeves. Yep. Uh, looking forward to what they can do for us during the uh, preseason. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, uh, when's the first game? It's probably during October. Yeah, it'll be like first week of October. Or road to, the 7th or 10th. Probably. So the road to October begins today. We're pretty much done with free agency. Yep. Uh, unless any big trades happen. Fingers well, crossed. Even then, it's not even about free agency at that point. It's just about the trades. Yeah, it's about <laughs> trades. Exactly. So, you so. know, fingers crossed that maybe something can happen that can be very beneficial for the Mavs. But as right now, I think our squad is set in terms of the first 14 spots. But yep. we still got one more spot to go. And maybe out of the making Roby Reeves, uh, who's, trio. Yeah, trio, who's going to get that last spot? And that's where yeah. we're at right now. So definitely stay tuned. We got uh, a lot of stuff ahead of us in terms of, 
I don't know in terms of because it's about to be a dead period. <laughs> Sports in general. I we'll, mean, we'll keep we'll keep you posted. Just know that and you're, you were doing such a good job leading them into like the next thing, and I then you're was. like, "Stay tuned. We got a lot of." Well, no, we really got nothing. <laughs> Yeah. Bring them back. Bring them back. Yeah. Leave them wanting let's more. Not, <laughs> let's not raise our expectations too much. Anyway. Let's, let's just leave it at stay tuned. Stay tuned, exactly.